Okay, so today we're looking at the Noise Engineering's uh, File Ruina. It's a distortion filter. And we're just going to listen to a couple of different uh, waveforms from uh, Hysteria VCO into the filter. Um, and I'll just go over the filter really quick. So basically what we've got is a knob here for uh, the cutoff frequency. And it's got this laser switch that has three positions. Uh, it's off, medium, and high. And basically what it does is it uh, engages this envelope follower that uh, sends that envelope back to uh, the filter cutoff. Then there's this Q knob, it's resonance. And it has a mod um, switch that also has a zero, medium, and high setting. And that routes the outgoing audio back to the filter. So it's like an in input dependent FM, I guess. And then there's a mangle knob, which is a distortion. And the way that you can route audio in this thing is um, you can go into just the filter portion, just the mangle portion, or you can route them into each other in two different orders. So in this case, I'm going from my VCO uh, into the mangle first, and then from the mangle output into the filter input, and then out to a VCA. Um, and I've got things kind of set up here, so we'll just listen to uh, first uh, the basic sequence and waveform here. I have a sine wave. And this is just through uh, a v VCA without going through the filter first. So it's, um, this is, you know, as basic as the sound can get. Okay, and now we'll listen to how it sounds like going through the uh, Val Ruina. So, you know, immediately with, with just with the filter cutoff frequency all the way open, it does um, color the sound just slightly. And you'll see that if you just were to do it like this and turn the resonance up, the resonance isn't going to really do much until it starts to self-resonate. So what you need to do is put an a envelope into the uh, filter cutoff CV. And so what I've done is I have just a uh, attenuated envelope from Matt's here. That's, uh, I can put into the filter cutoff. And so that makes it sound a little more dynamic. And I have, so the same unattenuated envelope is controlling the, um, the VCA. And so now if we turn up resonance, it's a little bit more interesting. You know, until you get to lasers. So let's uh, go ahead and turn the, the laser up and listen to the resonance again. Here it is on high. And now let's turn the mod up. And because this is like an audio rate modulation, it's got that roughness to it. This works as like a uh, offset when you have uh, CV going into the frequency. All right, so that was your, uh, let's try and mangle up and listen to it. This is just mangle on a sine wave. It does make it quite a bit louder, so if you're gonna, it's kind of a set it and leave it sort of thing if you try to use this during a, like a live situation. It's gonna, you know, well, it's gonna mess up all my levels basically, so just be aware of that. Okay, 
right, so that was a sound of a uh, sine wave. Let's try another just kind of basic wave. Let's go to a uh, saw here. And we'll listen to the just the basic sound again. So this is a no envelope. And here's uh, different levels of envelope. sounded best. listen to uh, square wave now. This is the basic square wave unfiltered through the other VC VCA. So here's the Valerino with the envelope. the envelope again. Decent filter, I guess. Um, I, you know, before I sat down to really look at it right now, um, I hadn't really been taking advantage of 
uh, the CV input for the cutoff frequency, which you really got to do it. Um, otherwise, I, I don't think it sounds super fantastic unless you're modulating that um, with something. And so you could try, you know, this was pretty straightforward. You can try different shape envelopes or uh, LFOs or whatever, just something in there to get it moving. That way you can, I, I mean, I like resonance, the sound of resonance uh, in like almost every sound. So um, for me, that's what really makes this thing uh, come alive a little bit. Uh, and that mod is going to sound pretty different, uh, depending on what you put in there. I thought it sounded pretty cool with the, uh, with the saw, uh, with the sawtooth wave. Um, you know, and maybe less cool with some other types of inputs and, you know, I don't want this video to be too long. So, um, you know, I'm not going to run drums through it or anything like that, or, uh, or like crazier sources like the Manus Terratas or something like that. Um, but um, yeah, I'm glad I sat down to look at it. Um, I mean, if if there's a super strong interest to see more, a variety of um, different inputs, then just leave a comment um, and let me know, and I'll and I'll set it up and do it. Um, but I think for now, this is a pretty good look at how this thing sounds and I'm glad it like I said I'm glad I did it because um it opened it up a little bit for me more and maybe I'll use it more in my patches uh than I was before so anyway uh you know hit the like button subscribe if you'd like to leave a comment and uh have a good day